So I'm here because my friend Charlotte has this guy that she's dating that I really want to like bad. Okay. Like really bad where I would ruin our friendship for it. How long have you and Charlotte been friends? Probably like three years now. I legitly want your man. Like, so when you I say, just, I'm trying to. When you say that you want her man, what exactly do you mean by that? So Charlotte can, you know, get the full picture. Right. Because I think she's a little bit confused. We're planning our life together, so. Well, I don't know what's going to happen anymore because I might be getting between y'all. Oh my God. So Charlotte, do you think that Morgan could even get your man? <laughs> no. How much you want to <laughs> bet? Go. Do you're I tripping, me? girl. You're Stay tripping. Where are you see the guys that be lined up. You don't think your man's gonna want me. You're tripping. Yeah, you you see how be looking at me. We're planning on. It don't matter, girl. It don't matter. It don't matter. Okay. What did you say? Morgan. Oh, Morgan. Yeah. 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 Y
Do you see what I'm saying? Just imagine if men had that same ideology. Nothing would have ever got accomplished in human history, bro. Waiting to be masculine when the women be feminine. Nothing would have gotten done, bro. I like the <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Because you feel it more. It That's touch your walls more. You feel me? <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I'm not stupid for a that his <laughs> is what? under six inches. Okay. Like, if it's six inches up, it's cool. You feel me? But if it's under six inches, it's a dub. So, so you can't be in a relationship with him? No, nah, if he can make me calm, like, I don't care if it's off his fingers, off a head. I'm going to rock with him. You Where's feel that? me? As long as you can make me calm, I'm not going to judge you. You feel me? Because you doing what you got to do. So, that's that shit I be talking about. Women don't have no game, bro. I'm telling you. Can I drive your car? Come on. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm not feeling no woman who will let you stress and make it work hard for you to just buy her things, dog. That's that's stupid. That's not smart. I've decided to move into another direction. That's how you feel. I gotta respect it. And that's how you have to say it. That's how I feel. I'm gonna respect I mean, it. What do you, you seem like you said your one liner. If that's all you have to say, you let's go like and let's just let it go. You ain't trying to fight for nothing. You seem like you've already made your decision. It ain't decision. about me already making a decision. You don't have a rebuttal you for nothing like that I'm saying. You seem like you've already made your decision. I wanted you to say something. I'm and you're not saying to you speak. It's not time to listen. It's time to talk. All of the things you say, you want to be there. You're here for me. You're all about the future and everything. You didn't even fight for a second. Hey, man, I love this for her. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. It's really that simple. Why would you even orchestrate and manufacture this fake you leaving him? You deserve what you got. TikTok for girls and motivational TikTok for guys is completely different. Because on the girl side, it sounds like this. You're the prize. You're the queen. Yes, queen. Being your feminine area. And then men motivational TikTok sounds like this. You're weak. You got to get out your ass. You ain't got no money, you ain't got no beat, you don't drive a Bentley. How many Bugattis you got? What color's your Bugatti? You gotta hit the gym, get your life back together, n***a. What if John Cena slaps your mama? What you gonna do? Nothing, cause you a weak ass, punk ass. Built like an anorexic Jada, pick, pick a smith, look at that. Flirt with you at the grocery store, but not offer to pay for your groceries? Get the fuck out of my face, I beg your fucking pardon? What the fuck you think this is? I'm, I'm over here shopping for things and you're flirting with me while I'm shopping for things but not offering to pay for the things that I'm shopping for while you're trying to flirt with me. Are you stupid? Like, the only way to win right now is to pay for the groceries. If not, move, move the fuck around. Move around. Because you're definitely not moving on up. Thank you. Man, look here, bro. That don't make no damn sense, bro. That is a selfish stance to take, man. You want a stranger to buy your damn groceries in order to earn your attention, man. Go sit down somewhere. Why all them people that y'all see out here and y'all trying to figure out how are they on God's, how are they here, how are they living like this? They spreading them cheeks. I promise you, they spreading them cheeks. I had a sugar daddy. When that man wanted me to spread my cheeks, I said, absolutely not, sir. I also work. But some people don't want to work, okay? So they spread them cheeks. You never know how the next person's getting that. And I'm telling you, they getting it because they spreading them cheeks. You sitting at home trying to figure out how can I have that too? Babes, all you have to do is lay down. They have requirements. I promise you, You all you have to do is lay down. Too many men out here have tried to sugar baby me. Baby, I don't have nothing to give y'all. I told you I come with salt and black pepper. I don't do that. I can't do that. Moral of the story is either you're gonna spread them cheeks or you're gonna go to your nine to five and love it. Say, bro, if you got more than two brain cells to rub together, you already saw the writing on the wall, bro. How the Dollar General girl who bagged groceries up affording to go to Dubai? She got a pretty face and a fat ass. You know somebody financed that trip. Move, bitch. Oh yeah, she had to get them kids up out the way, goddamn it. Y'all in the way. I'm going to see hubby. That's what she said, bro. That's the way it's supposed to be at the end of the day, bro. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Nuclear family, bro. Father, mother, children. Dog. <laughs> Maybe not the dog, but y'all get where I'm going with this, man. I'm a strong advocate for family, bro. Real talk. In the middle lane? Yeah. I'm about to show you. I'm going to launch it, but I'm going to go that way, though. What you mean launch? Are you going to go this way? You better have the police not over there.
Excuse me, do you like water? Yeah, I love water. Well, that's crazy because I'm actually 60% made of water. Well, that makes me 60% thirsty for you. I don't really know what to say now. Well, I'll give you my number. Damn! I'll call you to quench my thirst. Boy, if you don't stop! I'm gonna lie to you, bro. Every man need a strong victory like that, bro. Just to boost the self-esteem, just to make you feel good about yourself, little brother. <laughs> I love it, bro. <laughs> Where are you going? I would make a strong argument that you have bigger and much larger problems if you walk up out the house and your girl is not concerned about where you going, bro. Yeah, damn, you really need to look after her. I had a homeboy that used to always be cheating on his girl. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. And then she cheated on him one time, right? And he broke up with her. I said, damn, bro, why you did that? Now, this was probably 10, mm, about 11 or 10 years ago. And the boy said, listen, it's simple. This relationship ain't big enough for two holes. Boy, I hit the flow laughing, bro. <laughs> her feel safe is like one of the number one things, That's man, why as a woman, because you gotta she let that guard down. You losing... Never let your guard down. Respect for that man, because things can happen. You, you can begin to lose respect for that man. Mm -hmm. And you if you don't address it right then, nip it then, in the bud, then it will build resentment yeah, and you will display it, it as disrespect in the relationship. Yep. And he will no longer keep you safe. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Not at all. And yeah, when you don't feel all. safe, it's a wrap it up. Wrap it up. But I'm going to keep it real with you, dog. If the girl don't feel safe around you, bro, the relationship is dead. It is what it is. I'm sorry, bro. You might as well not waste no more time in it. Hit the dough. Never go back, bro. Because a woman who doesn't feel protected or safe with you, she is never going to respect you. And that's one of the biggest things that men require from their women. If a woman is obese, but she exercises every day, she will outlive the normal weight woman who doesn't exercise. If a man smokes and he has high blood cholesterol, has high hypertension, yeah. but he exercises, he will outlive the man who doesn't have any of those problems who doesn't exercise. If you don't exercise, you're going to die sooner. And that's the truth. Mm -hmm. For every hour you exercise, you will li live three hours longer. It's the Harvard alumni study. I want to get up right now. So a female stopped fucking with you out the blue, she got a new nigga, or her old nigga came back. And sometimes the new nigga never be a new nigga, you just never knew, nigga. Don't let that go over your head, bro. Going over my head. So look, here's the thing, bro. There's always a guy potentially ready to replace you. It's really that simple, bro. Your girl works she goes to school, she bees around men who she finds attractive that, hey, if I wasn't in a relationship, I'd give this guy a chance. So the moment she's not in a relationship, he right there already, bro. Like a hurry, boss. Yes. She gets freaky. Uh, you got to. Like if he don't have hair down there, like he's like a little boy. So That's like flavor. He, That's he, flavor. I like a little bit of hair. Like, you know, something like when you're bald, <laughs> when you're bald I think you're right. a little bit. You're bald, you're like, like a girl. Like yeah. Look, I don't know about y'all, but this would be an instant deal breaker for me if I was dating a woman and I saw this video from her past. I don't give a shit about none of that because, dog, all it takes is a goddamn couple of drinks and a camera in your face and you're going to start talking like a 304 outside in public? Hell no. Nah. What else you going to do when you're getting the right space? Another thing with the dating scene, it's, it's not rejection anymore. What? What is it? I'm going to give you the prime example. One guy. I hit him up. And he has a nice car. You know, we have been communicating oh, back and forth on Instagram. <laughs> so I, and I did this to myself. Can't blame the devil when you dancing on a glass table. <laughs> yeah, I said, I'm getting that tatted on me. I did it Double to myself. I was like, he already was giving me the cold shoulder. So I sent a message like, can I drive your car? You know, Ooh. trying to, that joker said, no. Nope. <laughs> 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 I would have to deactivate my Instagram after that. <laughs> It hit me in the throat. <laughs> ooh, ooh. 
Tyrell Reloaded again. I said, you know what? You did that to yourself. Because <gasps> he wasn't even showing you any attention. That's that shit I be talking about. Women don't have no game, bro. I'm telling you. Can I drive your car? Come on. Don't nag. Don't nag. It falls on deaf ears. Do what I do. Use positive reinforcement. Do, do you really think that's going to work? Be like, oh, oh, yeah. I like the sound of that. Mmm, <laughs> you loading up that dishwasher. It missed the nasty time. <laughs> Oh, you know clean dishes make me want to suck stuff. That makes me want to eat her. Um, a lot of really, really intelligent psychologists way back in the day been established that positive reinforcement definitely works better than negative reinforcement. All of that nagging and bitching and shit like that is not going to get your man to do what you want him to do. Check this next clip out. I'm telling you, bro, positive reinforcement is going to win almost every single time, bro. Equivalent of getting flowers for a girl, but for men. Being told that you appreciate them. 100%. Love that. Yeah. Do you like being told that you appreciate them? Well, I work to support our girls and hold tea on a pedestal. When I do that, that thank you and I love what we did that weekend or that night yeah. is the reason I do it. Right. 100%. The theme of the day is positive reinforcement, man. It can be so simple when women really just take the complexities out of it, man. Just be nice to the dude, bro. That'll give him incentive to go above and beyond for you. And a man will basically go to war for you as long as you are appreciative of the things that he does do for you. Hey, babe. Go get the kids ready for bed, read them a book and all that good stuff, and then come on back downstairs. That way we can hang out. Know what I mean? Yeah? Okay. I have a 14 year old daughter and I gave her a chore list with three words on it and she goes, where's your chore list? That's crazy talk. So I said, you know everything that happens in this house to make this home operate? Subtract the three things I asked you to do and that is my chore list. Well. Remember when you woke up in a bed, warm and not hungry? Check, check, check. I did that shit. Did you really? Y'all know what's interesting about this, man. Women and children are like both kind of adopt this ideology. Like, bro, like, and what are you going to do? Like, the men around are not the glue that's keeping this world afloat, bro. Come on, man. Wait, you got a 1510. Yeah, I did better than last. You did better than 1510? Yeah. Higher. Yeah. You did better than 1510? That's what I was expecting. But still, 1510 is so good. And you did better? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, it's not like she got like a... All right, hit me. 1590. No way! <laughs> Stop! Yes way, yes way all day. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're not kidding me. Oh my god! Oh my head is exploding! <laughs> right now, that was a dead segment of positive vibes, right? I could really relate to that for the simple fact. My daughter, she came home and told me that she was appointed captain of the soccer team. I was like, look at my baby showing leadership skills and shit like that. And then I was so impressed at the fact when I asked, I said, say, so what was the determining factor? Why did he decide to make you the captain? And the way she broke it down so articulate, my daughter can speak way better than me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like sometimes I don't even be like, God, damn. They say the apple don't fall too far from the tree. Well, shit, this, this apple ain't even come from this tree far as I'm concerned, but my thing is this, for you dinosaurs like me, I was like, why are y'all excited for her getting a 1590? Ain't it out of a, like 3000 or some shit? But not nah, evidently, unbeknownst to me, they changed the rating, right? A 1600 is now the highest, highest score you can get on the ACT. So she missed a perfect score by 10 points. What a girl smart, boy. <laughs> you feel me? She's smart, man. But listen, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed today's segment of Positive Vibe. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I'm going to get at y'all tomorrow.